angle and he gets it that's going to slow things down but no they don't they keep running into him and there we go this is surely going to be a triple he does get it nothing goes down and forest just coming into his own here perfect play with the old sean garrett last man standing in first one was loose nade comes out he does connect as well actually he's going to maybe Oh, he doesn't sneak through just yet. RPK's got to get through. Oh, Edward! Beautiful play coming out. That 1v3 should never have happened. No scope jump, not going to hit once. Is he going to go for it again, Device? No. Device, yes, he gets the shot. And it's going to be down to Flush. A late shot from Device. And Flusher goes down. What an adventure. Device taking us on here. Triple Four. kill. He get the plant down. And he needs to land this shot. And he does so indeed. Shroud versus Kenny S. And he is blinded. Kenny S. One versus two situation. <laughs> It looks like a brute force towards B, and that P90 is going to have a whale of a time until it met Sean Garris, who gets one, gets two, gets the third! Outstanding! Still in a great defensive position, gets a glimpse of him and finds the head to make it 15. Oh, what a fantastic first half from Virtus Pro. Ago, he's going to stick with the AK and look to potentially get a bomb down. The way Flush is running here, you can tell he's just like in clutch mode. He just wants to see if he can do this quick, quicker than TSM can react. And he's already got the one kill. Oh. Get the second one on Sipnix. And did he spot Dupree? I think he might have. And look at this. He's got a smoke and a Molotov left. If he does this, well, it'll be a classic flusher. He is such a clutch player. And now he's hiding inside the side. He's not sure where Dupree is coming from. Hasn't seen him jump yet either. Now he spots his face. So the Molotov is a bit wasted, but he's still playing around that smoke. Going to end up jumping down Dupree. Did he hear it? He's looking for it, but he's not quite sure. The bomb is not that far ticked. Flusher walking up behind him. He's got the triple. He's going to go for the quad spray. Gets a headshot, and there it is. He clutches it and brings Fnatic right back in the game for MB. But Neo lands two shots. Rattles them through the smoke into CT. And would you believe they find their target? Tries to find his dirt. Keo and MBK both low, but Neo. Oh, Keo look at the wrong way. He drew the peak there. Keo thought he'd gone into sight. The footsteps were a great little distraction from Neo. And now he knows the last man. He knows where MBK is. He smoked off CT spawn. He can only peek one corner. Instead, he shows his back to him, but he just turns around and gets it down. A beautiful 4K from Neo. Picks himself up the round. And really, what was should have been envious.
foot in, but still, these three players, their position's known, but they're making it work here. Flamey, once again, doing damage. RPK down. Can they get any more? This would be sloppy if they do, and Shock's in existence now, last two standing positions. Well known, Flamey is doing everything he can, and he gets the fourth. Brilliant play coming out from Flamey, single-handedly bringing Na'Vi back into this game with a chance here. Now this is looking scary for Cloud9. That was massive. Here we go. Can they unlock the rest? It's Freiburg coming in again on long. He's going to find nothing. Now there's two players standing on the bomb site. Shroud, the last man alive. Boris found Sean Garrus. He's going to put out whatever he has here. Tries to slow them down by platform. Takes the peak. He takes down Gerrite. He looks for the fork. He's running out of time, but so is the CT side. He goes for the clock. He's trying to get it all. Shroud comes in with it in the end. Four kills for that man. It took him to pick up four, but they make it work.